Hello, a very warm welcome to Burnham Grammar School. We're celebrating our 60th year, but in fact, it's not these buildings which will become the reality for your children at this school. This is going to be the building that will be the reality for your children. It's greatly expanding our facilities, giving us some things that we don't currently have. Let's go in and take a look. Facilities such as our amazing sports hall. Facilities such as our amazing activity and dance studio where the true magic of the dance shows will happen in rehearsals. Facilities like our own dedicated drama studio. We don't have a drama studio at the moment. We have incredible productions. It's going to be amazing to think what they will produce once they have this facility to rehearse in and develop each scene in. I can't wait. Facilities such as more science labs and more A-level science labs. Fantastic facilities like our new hall, which is where you have concerts, which will be as loud as, loud as that. You'll have the productions and you'll have our fantastic legendary dance shows. But Burnham Grammar School is about far, far more than the fantastic facilities that we have and that we're going to have in September 2021. So I'm now going to take you through the values and ethos at Burnham Grammar School that help to make this such a unique school and the focus that we have on individual achievement, which is key to so much of our success. As you'd expect, the academic results at Burnham Grammar School are fantastic, both at A-level and at GCSE. And unusually, we have routinely very positive progress measures at both GCSE and A-level. So our students are doing better than expected at GCSE and then making that step again when they go to take their A-levels. But we're about far, far more than academic progress and the examination grades that students get. And if all we were doing was equipping our children to sit in an examination hall and be successful, we would be failing them. The two words that sum up our approach are these, embracing challenge. And this refers to the opportunities both within and outside of the classroom that we want the students to really embrace. We want them to throw themselves into challenges that they've never tried before. And in every single lesson, we want the students to get to the point where they're volunteering answers that they're not sure of. If we get to that point, we know when they walk out of every lesson, they will have learned things. And that notion of embracing challenge was seen in every lesson that Ofsted visited during their, their inspection in February 2017. But our approach can be summed up by these school aims. Now, there's, there's five aims. I'm not going to go through them in detail individually, but I am going to focus on one or two of them. Now, the first aim is being happy, healthy and safe. And we want all of our students to be happy. We want them to be looking forward to coming to school each and every day. And we get to know our students as individuals. So we get to notice when there are there are issues, when things seem wrong so that we can deal with those issues before they become problems. Being happy and healthy and safe also encompasses safety. And we have a great record at Burnham Grammar School of being really proactive in dealing with the very rare occasions when we have issues of bullying. Bullying is rare, 
but we have been in receipt of the Bullying Intervention Group's award for the last 10 years. And that's because we review our procedures with the students every year to make sure that they work and that we deal with any issues that crop up as soon as, that, as, soon as they do. In terms of being healthy, we make sure that our students have the knowledge and the skills to make really positive lifestyle choices. And sport for all is a key, key strength of Burnham Grammar School. We have every student competing on sports day and every student in year seven will be involved in extracurricular sport. We don't make that a requirement further up the school because the range of sports and activities on, on offer is exceptional. And we find that the students always find a phys physical activity that they will want to carry out themselves. Now, in addition to all of the traditional sports that you'd expect, in terms of rugby, football, netball, cricket, hockey, athletics in the summer. There are a range of other activities to do with individual fitness, activities like dance, street dance, contemporary dance, also Aikido, table tennis. The range goes on and on. We survey the students, we talk to the students, we find out the activities that they want us to put on and we provide them at the school or if we can't do that, we make sure that what we do is find out which local clubs can provide those activities that the students are interested in. Now being prepared for their future is about far, far more than the exceptional careers advice that we offer to students at Burnham Grammar School. We're one of only three schools that has already achieved all of the Gatsby Career Education benchmarks. We provide a broad range of activities, but the key thing about being prepared for the future is developing the skills, which may not be critical in an examination hall, but, but are absolutely key for your children to be successful when they go out into the world of work. And those skills include things like communication, written communication, oral communication, things like teamwork, leading teams, being part of a team, being able to summarise. So we have a range of events that enable us to develop those skills from collapsed timetable days where the whole school is off of timetable and the students will be given individual projects to do where there might not be any right answer, where they have to work as, as a team, they have to meet deadlines and they have to present their outcomes at a particular time. A little bit like an apprentice activity and if you watch any episode of The Apprentice you can see why the development of those skills is absolutely key. You can see that those skills are incredibly successful with our students because this is the unified group who reached the national finals of Young Enterprise this year with their fantastic product. Those skills are also developed through our fantastic program of performing arts, whether it's the dance shows, the music ensembles or the productions, everything contributes to the development of those skills. Being an active citizen is about our students understanding how to get their voices heard, both in the local communities, the national community and internationally as well. Our students are involved in every appointment that we make to Burnham Grammar School and we have an incredibly active and vibrant student council, members of which have gone on to represent Buckinghamshire in the Youth Parliament. And we have a range of international links which allow us to get the students to experience life in other countries. And that's underpinned by a fantastic and really proactive program of trips, both day trips and residential trips, both in this country, in Europe, and all the way to the Southern Hemisphere with our sports tours to South Africa, New Zealand and Australia. Trips are a really key part of the learning experience at Burnham Grammar School. We passionately believe in learning in context. You can learn about coastal erosion um, in a classroom, but it's much better to see it happening before your own eyes on the coast. So there is a really, really rich programme of trips which we encourage the students to be involved in. And it's those international links and those trips which have led us to win the International Schools Award for the third time running. And it's that exceptional range of extracurricular activities and trips that develop those broader skills that so impressed 
Ofsted when they came in to visit the school in February 2017. They really did find that we were building responsible citizens of the future. And now we come to one of our most important aims, and that's being a responsible learner. And whilst we are a, a science and maths college and a languages college, those are not the, the only subjects that are valued at Burnham Grammar School. Every subject is valued and there are fantastic opportunities throughout the performing arts, through music, through drama, through our productions and through our fantastic dance shows for students to express themselves and to develop their knowledge of themselves as a learner. This diagram shows some of the key aspects of being a responsible learner at Burnham Grammar School, and it's closely linked with that overarching theme of embracing challenge. At Burnham Grammar School, we make sure that students understand the key importance of making mistakes as a part of learning. And when our year sevens join us, the thing we say to them, first of all, is the only time that they will worry at Burnham Grammar School is when they're getting everything right. So if they're getting everything right, then either they're not challenging themselves or we're not providing the work that will challenge them. Now, it's not enough to be clear. The other key element of that is our students understanding the key importance of effort. And not only effort, but targeting efforts at the things that will maximise their progress. That's usually the things that they're finding difficult or can't can't get right at that moment and time. And so it's easy to say, but difficult to do, but we support the students so that they're able to work through the problems of targeting those areas until those areas of weakness become areas of success. But to be able to welcome mistakes and to target your efforts at those things that will make the biggest difference takes courage. And we support the students to be able to risk failure and to make sure that they can look themselves in the mirror and know that they have tried their best on each and every piece of work. Now in year seven, to develop those broader skills and to get the students to understand the importance of responsible learning and the key elements to it, we have something called the BGS Diploma and also a series of lessons called Psychology for Learning. What you can see on the screen here at the top are the six areas, one of which becomes a focus for each half term, which develop those broader skills with the students. So we are laying down the foundations of them being successful, responsible learners, and also they apply the lessons they learn in psychology for learning. Psychology for learning looks at the neurobiology of learning. It looks at how to deal with stress and manage stress. It looks at how to understand memory and make sure that the way that the students are working, the way that they're structuring revision programs really helps them to stick things into their memory so they can use them at will when they're trying to answer questions. The diploma simply lays the foundations for the students learning in year seven and will become a key part of their activities through a range of challenges across the entire year and it is something that parents will become increasingly familiar with as well but our most important aim and one that is put at the bottom of the school aims diagram deliberately by the students because they felt it was the foundation of everything at Burnham Grammar School is the notion of being a caring individual. And that's key to every success that we have at this school. Now, that does include saying please and thank you to each other. It does include holding doors open for each other. It does include helping adults on their way around the school. But it is not something which is passive. Our students know that being a caring individual is something that you actively do and that our students are actively trying to improve the lives of others as they go around their daily lives. And that's both within the school and outside the school. It's linked to our incredible fundraising activities for charity, which is linked to the Rotary Club Burnham Beaches we provide a fantastic foundation for the students to take responsibility not only for themselves but for their wider communities whilst they're at Burnham Grammar School and when they go on to the world of work and into um, the wider community. Quite simply Burnham Grammar School is an idyllic learning community 
where we truly act as a community, looking after each other and making sure that we support each other. We also have Peach, our school dog, which helps us de-stress and looks after many of us, many of the students and many of the staff to make sure we get through the day and is a key part of our school community. We'd welcome you to join Burnham Grammar School. And if you're lucky enough to win a place at the school, these are the things that we take year seven through from day one, the things that summarize what I've been talking about. We want you to be happy. Being a caring individual is key. Just be the best you can as an individual. The importance of effort and focus on good learning is important. Embracing challenge and making mistakes is a key part of learning. We can only ask you to do what you can do and we will support each and every student to truly fulfil their potential. Now to help the students fulfil their potential, we also need to be able to make and help staff to fulfil their potential and that's one of the reasons we invest so much time, so much effort into developing our fantastic teachers. And that's why we've been lucky enough to, re to receive the Investing People Gold Award um, for the second time, which really is a quality mark of the way that we develop our staff and we train the next generation of teachers so that we make ourselves Im immune from the teacher recruitment crisis, which is affecting many other parts of the country. We have a fantastic team of teachers at this school and they will support your children to be the best that they can be. Admissions in Bucks is difficult, particularly at this moment in time with the impact of COVID, particularly on the transfer test. If you go onto the Burnham Grammar School um, admissions page on our website, it will take you through those arrangements and give you some top tips on to how to navigate your way through both the transfer test and the common application form. I wish you luck. I hope to meet many of you in person, as many as I possibly can. And I hope over the coming months that the situation changes so we can welcome you to the school and you can see how our school works in, in action. Best of luck for the coming months. So we hope your child will join us on the next stage of their journey as we embark on the next stage of our history in these world class facilities.